Hi guys, I'm Marco Fanag 2019, and today I'm going to talk about echinoderms. Echinoderms are invertebrates, meaning they have no backbone, and echinoderms include starfish, brittle stars, sea cucumbers, sea urchins, um, sand dollars, and crinoids. The crinoid looks a lot like a flower. Echinoids have radial symmetry. Um, let's talk about a starfish. Some starfish are filter feeders, meaning that they collect fruit food from water that passes through their bodies. And all echinoderms have spiny skin, and that's an echinoderm means spiny skin. So they also have an internal skeleton of bone-like plates, and um, and this and there are um, categories of echinoderms. So um, sea urchins are echinoids. And um, never mind. And echin and I thought that echinoid was like a nickname for echinoderms, but soon it's like the group of sea urchins. And also some in echinoderms, some of them have thousands of tube feet, like um, the tube feet at the bottom. So here's how you can tell when an echinoderm is alive or dead. So if an echinoderm has color, then that means it's alive. But if it's dead, but if it's color white, then that means it's dead. So here are the samples of echinoderms. So here is a starfish I have. And echinoderms don't have a brain, I think. And right here, the center part is the mouth. And that's where they eat all their microorganisms. Some echinoderms are predators, like they eat fish. So this is another starfish, but this one has spines on it. Um, it's pretty rough. Echinoderms are rough. And can everyone guess what's in here? A sand dollar. So sand dollars, um, I could see some tube feet when I was looking at a microscope. They're at the bottom, and this hole right here is for food to pass through. It's its mouth, and also the design of the um, sand dollar. Sea cucumbers don't have an internal skeleton like the sand dollar in the starfish, but they do have like a hard skin um, on the outside. So um, when people eat sea cucumbers, they often eat the hard skin. So here, um, here are all the echinoderms I have. I only have three echinoderms. And the other shells in my collection are mollusks. And um, I'll be talking more about, um, I'll say more about echinoderms now. So um, through evolution in, um, invertebrates were the first animals to ever live on Earth, and the modern echinoderms evolved from ancient echinoderms. So starfish, so there was a common ancestor that they all evolved from, and um, and crinoids, um, some echinoderms like crinoids are sessile. Um, do you know what sessile means? Sessile means that they attach to one place and can't move around. But um, some echinoderms, like the sea cucumbers, sh um, shoot their guts at predators. So they have to regrow their organs. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this topic about echinoderms. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And I hope... And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and goodbye. And here are the three echinoderms um, again. So this sand dollar is very white. Bye!